Hello everyone and welcome to episode 100 of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. To celebrate 100 episodes of ASA, in the next episode of ASA, I am going to be giving away a $100 LEGO gift card. All you have to do to enter is first be subscribed to the channel, leave a like on this video, and then ask a question like normal. And then you'll have a chance to win a gift card. I'm going to be using a random comment generator that will filter out duplicate users, so even if people ask multiple Multiple questions you'll only get one entry but now let's get into the questions for today I got a whopping 19 questions which is just absolutely fantastic so thank you all so very much let's get started with Plurpus ASA are you now or have you ever been a rainbow squirt sadly no I have not ever been a rainbow squirt I would if I could and now you must die <laughs> Next question has to do with the future of ASA and it comes from TG Collects, Clone 66 Studios, and CT Bricks. And all three of the questions are ASA, what type of videos will you make when ASA is over? After ASA is done, will you ever make another Q&A series? And would you ever bring back ASA as ASA Season 2 or something like that? So for those of you who don't know, in the last episode of ASA, I said that I wanted to end ASA at episode episode 100 so technically this would have been the last episode of ASA but literally the day after I decided I don't want to end ASA I changed my mind already so I posted that in the community post but I guess not everyone always reads that or sees it in my community post in case you missed it I basically said never mind I changed my mind I'm not ending ASA I decided not to end ASA I'm gonna keep ASA going and hopefully I can get it going to like another maybe 200 next question is from Reed Renders and he says ASA who is your favorite non Lego YouTuber. Definitely the Gooseworks channel. I absolutely love the Gooseworks channel. Just fantastic and beautiful music. Fantastic and beautiful animations. The Gooseworks channel made the music for my favorite video on YouTube. The Gooseworks channels made amazing and just beautiful animations like Elaine the Bounty Hunter, Elaine Gets Adopted, The Darley Boxman. <laughs> I wouldn't remember this if I were you. And I cannot wait for the amazing digital circus on the Glitch channel because that's going to be made from Gooseworks. And so, yeah, it's just amazing. But I also just love the Gooseworks music. I listen to it all the time. In fact, I listen to Gooseworks music pretty much every time I'm editing or working on videos. I'll have Gooseworks just playing in the background, just random songs. Just, yeah, my favorite channel right there. Next question is from Mne. I don't know if I said that right. But anyways, he says, are you hyped for Invincible C? Season 2, Potato. Thank you for the potato. Yes, I am hyped for Invincible Season 2. Invincible was such a fantastic and just beautiful and disgusting, all that at the same time show on Amazon. I absolutely loved it. I watched the whole show in like two days because when I first started, I thought, eh, I'm going to give this a try. I probably won't like it, but I'll watch it. And then like five episodes later, I was like, okay, it's three in the morning. I should probably go to bed. And then I woke up and I'm like, I'm going to finish that show in a little bit. And then I finished the show that day. And so Season 2 is going to be epic. Next question is also from Mne, and he says, do you play Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga every time you record in ASA? Love the series and then a bunch of potatoes. Thank you for the kind words and the potatoes of course. I don't always just play Lego Star Wars. I've just been playing a crap ton of it lately for ASA. Well actually I played like two months ago. That's old footage at this point. I just kind of have been playing just because it's like, hey Lego Star Wars it goes great with my channel because that's what my channel is mostly about, right? Once I finish episode three so like the rest of the footage that you're watching literally right now and then next week will be unless I reach it at the end of this video uh the duel on Mustafar once I finish that I might take a break from Lego Star Wars for like maybe three or four episodes so if you have any suggestions on what you think I should play in the background just as like uh, something fun to watch let me know maybe I'll consider it my goal is to do every level in Lego Star Wars especially now I'm gonna keep ASA going Next question is from Scott Daves, ASA. What three LEGO Star Wars minifigs are the best ever made? Happy 100 ASA. It was a good run and then a bunch of potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes and it's going to continue to be a good run. Honestly, there's so many just amazing LEGO Star Wars minifigures out there. But like some of the ones that I think are just like the best are probably just because they're like deemed super duper ultra mega expensive and crap like that. But like the golden C3PO, you got to admit, even though it's not 
not like the greatest looking minifigure. It's really cool because it's just like a shiny gold. The chrome Darth Vader is gorgeous. And I love the chrome Stormtrooper because, well, I love Stormtroopers and it's chrome. So it's like, it's beautiful. I, I know that those aren't like necessarily the best minifigures in terms of detail. There's just, there would be so many to think of. I'm not going to go on this for too much longer, but minifigures, it's kind of like the same beauty as in the eye of the beholder, right? Some, some minifigures might be absolutely atrocious to some people and some people might actually love them. Prime example, I love the Star Wars Rebels Stormtrooper. That is my favorite Lego Star Wars Stormtrooper Lego has ever made. And to some people, that's probably the worst Lego Star Wars Stormtrooper ever made. Although I think this one's the worst ever made. <laughs> everybody's gonna have their differences and their preferences and all that and to say that a minifigure is only good because someone popular likes it is kind of silly but also to say you hate a minifigure because someone popular hates it you know you just gotta kind of decide what you like what you dislike but i will say because those minifigures i did say are shiny i think that's cool shiny's cool you know what else is shiny ice cream Next question is from TG Collects ASA. What is your favorite Stormtrooper variant? I guess Shock Troopers would count as a variant because they still look like Stormtroopers, but they're they're red. And I love Shock Troopers. Shock Troopers are amazing. Kind of going back to like what Scott asked a minute ago. One of my favorite minifigures in my collection is my Shock Trooper. That minifigure is just oh so gorgeous. So I love Shock Troopers. Next question is from Clone 66 Studios ASA. Have you ever watched Jurassic Park? If so, how did you? like it i love it man it's just it's so amazing i think my favorite scene in jurassic park is the one with rexy you know the the animatronic like that was amazing for its time because it was like that's actually real it's not just cgi like the newer movies which of course the newer movies look great but like kind of takes you out of the immersion if you will just a tiny bit versus the animatronic it's like that was actually there that's just oh so cool so like i love jurassic park it's just a fantastic movie i love jurassic park though in Jurassic World like it's probably my favorite movie series after Star Wars. Next question is from EK Starlord. ASA what is your favorite Nickelodeon show besides Spongebob and then a bunch of potatoes and some fries. I'm gonna go with Invader Zim. I love Invader Zim. Invader Zim is just always hilarious every time I watch it and I watch it a lot. That's like I watch that show almost as much as Spongebob just not as much if that makes sense. But, like Invader Zim just has such great characters, such great dialogue. Dialogue. I love Gur. It's just uh, everything about Invader Zim is uh, is amazing, and I love it. I hate them, and I hope they do. <laughs> oh yeah, I can see up its nose. Next question, ASA, what do you think of the idea of having a Star Wars animated series in between The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker and then a bunch of potatoes? More Star Wars shows in that time frame do need to happen someday. I know not a lot of people like Star Wars Resistance, even though I think it's a fantastic show. It might have had its moments where it was kind of dumb, but it also had its great moments. Like one of my favorite moments, I'm going to go on a little tangent here, was when the First Order came to wipe out that Aqua world and just kill those stupid fish people. I hated those fish people because they killed the battle droids in that show and the battle droids were like just amazing. I loved them and the stupid fish people killed them. So when the first order came to like wipe them out, I laughed so hard. Cause I was like, that's what you freaking deserve. But I, I like Star Wars Resistance. And if they brought Star Wars Resistance back in the form of season three, season two ended during The Last Jedi. So like if they brought season three back, they could actually like answer some more questions about the prequels. So I'm honestly sad that it got canceled. Although I will also say if it had the animation style of like the Clone Wars, I think it would look nicer. Cause that's the one thing I will say is Star Wars Resistance. It's not the prettiest, although I like it. Anyways, next question is, Say, have you ever watched the Brightburn film and then a bunch of potatoes? I don't know if I said that right, and I've never heard of this film. I looked it up just to like kind of quickly see what it was. I guess it's like a superhero movie or something. I've never heard of this. It came out in 2019, and so maybe I'll give it a try, but as of right now, I've never seen it. I haven't even ever heard of it. So yeah. EK Starlord also says, ASA, what is the most annoying sound you have ever heard? And then a bunch of potatoes. Honestly, there's a lot of annoying sounds in the world, but I think I'm 
going to go with the narrator voice or whatever. I don't know what it's called for TikTok. I just, I hate that voice. It's so just obnoxious and annoying. And then there's that like guy version too, which sounds really like, like raspy and just disgusting. I, I just, I don't like those narrated voices. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to like bother putting the video up on here because I don't want to do that to you. And I definitely don't want that annoying voice in one of my YouTube videos. I also just hate TikTok as a whole. So maybe that's why, but like, oh, that voice is just so annoying. Every time I hear it, I just, ugh, it's disgusting. Next question is us from EK Starlord, and then we'll have one more question from him. Thanks for all the questions, EK. I appreciate it. ASA, are you a fan of the Mega Mind movie? If so, will you be watching the brand new TV series coming out in 2024? And then a bunch of beautiful potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes, my dude. I absolutely love Mega Mind. Mega Mind is one of the best animated movies DreamWorks has ever made, hands down. I love Mega Mind. It is just, oh, it's so awesome. So to hear that they're making a show, because until I read this comment, I didn't, or Saul, I should say, I didn't even know they were making this show, like a, a TV series. So like, yes, I'm going to be watching that. It's probably going to be awesome. I hope so. I hope they don't kill the movie by making a bad show. You know, I'm definitely going to give it a try because I love the movie. And the last question from EK Starlord. ASA, do you think the Ahsoka series works better as a TV show, or do you think it should have been a movie and then a bunch of potatoes? Thank you for the potatoes. As of right now, today is actually the day that the show came out, but when I'm recording this video, which is on Monday, I have not seen the show yet, but I actually think that making this a series is going to work better because it's kind of going to be like Star Wars Rebels Season 5. That's what a lot of people are saying. I think that shows are better in the sense that it gives them more free time to like go over stuff and plots and stories and characters and all that. The downside is obviously budget because then you have less money which means less time and all that put into like making things look nice and all that. You can use the Grand Inquisitor as a prime example from the Kenobi series. I'm ugly and I'm proud. I'm really excited for it. I'm hoping that it's going to be good. I think that because Dave Filoni made it, it's going to be good. Like I said, I haven't seen it yet, but once this video comes out, I will if then because I'm going to stay up until 1am and watch both episodes because it releases at 1am where I live. Oh boy, 3am! And our last two questions are from CT Bricks. ASA, if the rumors are true, would you buy a Clone Trooper versus Battle Droid Battle Pack that has plain Phase 2 Troopers and then a bunch of potatoes? Absolutely, man. I, I'm for sure going to get one no matter what, even if it's not very pretty because, you know, I'm a bit of a hoarder, completionist, all that. I buy pretty much every single LEGO Star Wars set, one of every I can every year. This sounds gorgeous and awesome, though, like the idea of having just regular Phase 2 Clone no legion no nothing just clone trooper you know it's just gonna be amazing i really hope though that they do get rid of the helmet holes because i don't think that they're like the end of the world like some people but they're definitely not pretty and i think even people that don't mind them like me can agree they're not pretty but the idea of having clones and droids in a battle pack i think it's supposed to be like 30 dollars, and it's rumored to have Super Battle Droids is really cool because we haven't had a Super Battle Droid in a long time and the excuse is because of their legs. The way that their clips on their legs work break very easily. So I guess Lego decided it's easier to just not sell them so that way they can't have people complain, this is broken. So hopefully that means that we're getting a redesign on the Battle Droids, probably just the Super Battle Droids, but in general, that would be awesome, especially if you could like move their legs. I don't think that's gonna happen though because their excuse for that is because then they couldn't stand up. It's like, just put them on a base play or something problem solved right it's probably going to be very much like the 501st battle pack you know but it sounds really cool and i'm i'm excited to to get it and our last question is from ct bricks asa would you ever buy fake lego that was designed by a lego fan if it was good quality also long live asa and then a bunch of potatoes yes long live asa honestly probably not i think i'm only going to just ever stick to buying lego from lego now i don't think that like custom blasters or helmets or stickers or any of that is like disgusting i don't think like oh how dare you buy that stuff but like personally i just i only want lego from lego i know i always say that that's just my excuse i don't see the need i should say to buy other things outside of lego for lego now i do wish that lego would actually make their sets look better put more attention into detail with their minifigures like they say they do you can use the commander fox minifigure as a prime example the torso print is definitely not completely accurate and when you actually have the figure in hand the middle part of the chest is kind of a pink color because they didn't take the time to really make sure
sure that the white came out properly. Boo! So it's inaccurate and kind of ugly. And also, if you look at the picture, like on the box, it's not like that. So that's technically false advertisement, right? So like, I do understand totally why people want to buy all this like non-Lego stuff to go with their Lego minifigures to make them look better. I'm like, I totally get that, but I just want Lego to make their minifigures and all that look better. So that way, when I buy a Lego Star Wars set, that's all I have to buy and it just looks amazing and all that, you know? Hopefully that answered your question. I kind of went on a little tangent there. But that's all the questions for today's episode. So thank you all very much for the wonderful questions. Remember to leave a comment or question for a chance to win that gift card in the next episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed and thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and have a good one.